Hi, my name is Heather and welcome to Strings and Threads. Today is Giving Sunday and I just thought I would retell kind of how this all started because I was thinking about it and it's really crazy how this all got started. I never intended to do a clip like this, but I'm so glad that I do now because it's so good to be able to give back. It's a good feeling for me to be able to give back. And I know that it's made a difference in other people's lives. But really how this started was January in 2023. So, you know, a little bit over a year ago, I was doing something called Scrubby Sunday. <laughs> this is how it started. It's so weird. I wanted to get better at knitting. And so I thought if I came on every week and knitted a dishcloth or a washcloth, then I could get better at doing knitting stitches. So I did that for a while. And since I didn't need so many dishcloths and washcloths, what I was doing is I would make four a month or five if they were five weeks. And then I would do a giveaway for them at the end of the month. And then come late spring, early summer, somewhere around there, the American Starfish reached out to me and they said, we noticed you're giving away washcloths, but we could really use them for our washing stations for the homeless. That's how it all began. So I started donating my washcloths to the American Starfish and I came on here and I had asked for help because they wanted quite a lot. And so many people joined in and helped out with that. And then when that petered out, there's still a few channels here and there that are doing giving on Sunday, but that kind of petered out a little bit. But I do like to continue giving. It was such a great feeling and a great experience for me. So I was giving hats to the American Starfish, to the Salvation Army, and then recently the hats have stopped. They didn't need them. So I thought I'm going to go local because I've been doing so much shipping lately, which isn't a problem. It's just that I thought I could give myself a little bit of a break from shipping. The costs are going up. Have you guys noticed that? It's getting more and more expensive to ship stuff. So uh, I reached out to the oncology center, which is really close to my house. And I said, what do you need? And they said they needed lap blankets, lap gans. So, you know, I had a little chuckle because for things we're making Thursday, I've been getting on all month saying how much I don't like to make blankets. But I think it's going to be a good experience because I'm not coming on here to do complicated, fancy patterns. What I thought I would do is do stitch samplers and learn some new stitches while I make lap gans. And lap gans also aren't as big as big blankets, you know, that you would have for your bed or for even your couch. You know, the lap gans, they seem to be anywhere between 30 to 40 to 38 to 48, somewhere around there. I looked up the different sizes. I looked up sizes for a lap gan and there was a range, but 48 seemed to be the largest number that was you know, 48 inches. I'm sorry, I'm going by inches. I know the whole world doesn't always go by inches. Some go by centimeters. But uh, anyway, I thought I would do a lap gan, my first one with the block stitch. So I'm calling this blank or this lap gan the comfort block lap gan. And a video tutorial should already be up for it. If not, it's coming really, it's coming today because I pre-recorded it and have it set to come out today. And the people who are members of my channel, they had early access to it. So they've had it for a few days already. But here's how it looks. This is the block stitch. And it's not done yet. I got, I have a good amount of length. I wanna say I have somewhere around 20 inches, but I still have a ways to go for it. I used, and I'll show you, I'm just using Red Heart Super Saver because I went through my stash. I don't have a huge stash and I certainly don't have a huge stash of all the same colors. So I had to see what I had the most of. So the colorful part is Super Saver Stripes and it's called Favorite Stripes. 
I'm not sponsored by the way, it's just what I happen to have in my stash. And I had two of these, but I had to order some more because I don't think it's gonna be enough. This is Super Saver and the color is just called Light Gray. So those are the two colors that I used. This stitch works really well with uh, one color that pops. So that's, I'll show it again. The stripes really pop and they kind of go in rainbow order, red, orange, yellow, green, and then the blue and purple are up here. And then the gray just kind of lets the other colors shine, in my opinion. I liked, I liked these colors together. So if you are interested in making the Comfort Block lap, lap Gan, the video tutorial is up and running, fingers crossed, and you can give that a try. If you're giving somewhere, I would love to hear where. I know a lot of you have told me you're doing soap sacks. That was a popular one, the, the boobies. <laughs> people who who've had mastectomies. Lots of people are giving hats. So I'm really proud of this. I'm proud of being able to have all of us work together to try and make the world a better place. Thank you for those of you who are participating with me. Thank you to all of those who are cheering me on. I know it's not in the cards for everybody to be able to do this. I'm not criti critical of you at all. I understand that everybody has different things going on in their lives. It's not possible for everybody, but we need cheerleaders too. So thank you for those of you who are cheering us on and keeping us going and being our friends. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.